Does your Express or Savannah Van sliding door require a strong slam to close properly? Or does it sometimes take a second hand to release that rear latch? Or maybe you're noticing wind noise or water entering through the weather strip. There are a number of wear points that will eventually require any door to have the worn pieces replaced or have the door realigned. The bad news on the sliding door is those wear items are expensive and labor intensive for replacement. The good news is sliding door realignment is pretty quick and simple. There are five adjustment points on the door, but don't let that scare you. I'll explain each one, but more than likely you'll only need to adjust just two or three. There are three roller mechanisms on the door. Two in the front at the top and bottom, then one center roller at the rear. The cause of my issues can be seen pretty clearly here at the rear door striker. The worn roller at the rear had worn so much that the door latch was no longer aligning with the strike pin. I also noticed the door would sometimes contact the top left of the door frame. A clear need for either a full roller mechanism replacement or door realignment. The worn out rear door roller also widened the gap at the top front while decreasing the gap at the lower front. Luckily, adjustment of the rear roller is incredibly easy. Or it would be if I hadn't built the cabinet in front of half the adjustment points. Behind the small access door in your door panel, you'll find these two 13mm bolts. No need to remove them, just loosen them a turn or two. From there, hop out and find these two 13mm nuts. You'll want to loosen those and hopefully your washer doesn't crumble into pieces like mine did. Once you get that loosened, you can now raise the door and re-tighten the nuts and bolts. And don't get too frustrated, it'll probably take a couple tries to get it just right. You'll want to use the striker pin as your guide to centering the door. After that, you can take a look at your front door sliders. The lower slider adjusts up and down via the three 13mm bolts clearly visible here. Those are what you would utilize to align the door with the front striker plate. If you need to adjust for weather strip flattening and want to bring the door more inward, you can do that by loosening the two 10 millimeter bolts here. Your lower door bumper can be adjusted via the two 10 millimeter bolts here. Then at the top, you'll find your final roller assembly. This works more as a guide than anything, as it holds none of the door's weight. However, you are able to raise or lower the roller to better align with the top track with these three 10 millimeter bolts. Or if you should need, you can bring the door closer to the weather strip by adjusting these two 10 millimeter bolts. Now that your door is square, you may need two final adjustments, your front and back striker plates. These both move horizontally only, no vertical adjustments are possible. Over time, the latches and strikers lose material and wear out. Your weather strips also lose their ability to create a good seal. You can see this air gap visible from inside my door facing the rear of the van. To adjust for all of this, simply loosen the two Torx T40 bolts 
and tap the striker plate inward. If you adjust them too far inward though, your door may require excessive force to latch, or it may refuse to latch altogether. You would then need to readjust the strikers outward. And that's it. Short, sweet, and to the point. Make sure to like this video if it helped you out, and finally, thanks for watching.